So to cybersecurity analyst David Kennedy on why all of us really need to start worrying. Uh, I guess if the IRS is vulnerable, then we're all vulnerable, right, David? That's right, Charles. I mean, right now the federal government has a, a major undertaking because all of their systems right now are vulnerable. You saw the, the Office of Personnel Management uh, or the OPM hack. Millions of, you know, uh, you know records around uh, background checks and, and clearances were taken. IRS, you know, it's time and time after again where we're seeing a lot of these large-scale breaches. And the federal government is way, way behind. Even the commercial sector, which is also getting breached really bad right now uh, when it comes to the types of attacks. Now, when you hear that uh, they actually, these attackers, use an application that was provided by the IRS, I guess that's what really is unnerving because, you know, we, we, before we heard they make sure you have a secure password. Yeah. But any business out there is going to have offers, apps, security, uh, you know, different things to invite people into their site so they can accumulate data on it, but it, it becomes a two-way street. It does, and that's what happened here in the IRS. They're able to use, you know, personal information uh, from individuals that they're able to get from other places. Like, uh, for example, you know, what's your, uh, what was the first, your first pet's name? Uh, you know, in order to guess and get them. Pull back information or birth dates, things like that that are readily available uh, to get that information. The problem is, is that if you look at it statistically, you know, they went after 600,000 uh, accounts. They were successful in half of those. That's a very, very alarming statistic, which means that they, they were easily guessable, um, something that had little to no security, and that they're able to essentially brute force their way into these types of systems to get access to that data. Just shows really bad security practices. So the IRS has uh, uh, the most important of our own personal information. That's right. What should the viewers out there be on the lookout for now? What if you're one of these 300,000 or so uh, that were successfully hacked, uh, your information was stolen? Yeah, Charles, this is, this is the, the most alarming part about it. So if your credit card gets compromised, right, you get a new credit card from your bank and everything's fine and dandy and you get the funds reimbursed. This is a lot more challenging because it's your social security number, which means that it's tied to you personally, which means that, you know, the IRS is going to, you know, give you a certain amount of time, maybe a year or two years for identity fraud uh, protection. But that, that, that identity can be used any time. It can be used three years from now, five years from now, ten years from now, or fifty years from now. So you have no idea when it's going to be used. So my, my personal tips for individuals is, is monitor your credit. Monitor your identity. Make sure that there's nothing that's being taken out fraudulently. And unfortunately, you're going to have to monitor for the rest of your life. The government can't protect your information.